future inventions here for a review of a 3D iPad skin. Not that kind of 3D, this kind of 3D. This is the dome skins for the iPad 2 and it looks pretty crazy. And now I'll show you what makes it so 3D. Hey everybody, now I will be showing you the 3D-ness of this case. But first I'll explain why I'm using this crappy desk instead of my normal nice lighting system. Uh, that's because I broke a bulb and I inhaled a bunch of mercury. But that's aside from the point. This case is... case, no, skin. The skin is, is very 3D-ish. I'm calling it a case because it's so 3D-ish. It's like all up there and, and, and really, really fat. I mean, it doesn't add that much bulk, but you can feel it, and it feels pretty nice and, and solid, and it's cool, and people will look at it and see the shininess of the 3D-ness. You can see right there, it's kind of shiny and cool-looking and glossy. People will say, wow, this looks amazing. While we're taking a look at the 3D-ness, let's also take a look at the design and the cutouts. Cutouts are, are very spot-on, but that mainly depends on uh, how you align the case. But I think I got it on pretty pretty well, and uh, everything's all nice there. And it does fit the iPad very well. On the back here, we have the camera cutout. It does fit very well if, if you line it up right. But I felt that lining this up right meant that you had to c kind of go too far down to the uh, speaker grill. It looks a little off, but still pretty nice and, and cut out. And, uh, Everything up here is is uncovered, and I really like this design as well as the 3D feel. Unfortunately, this design doesn't seem to be extremely high quality. I mean, if you look at it really closely, you'll see like little pixely things from the printer, uh, but but it still looks great nonetheless. I think if they make the the quality a little nicer, then I would like this case case no skin a little more. It's a skin. It's a skin. Uh, so, also about the 3D-ness. It's, it's very 3D-y over here. You can tell the gap over here. Great for playing games. You get a little bit of feel when you're going off the screen. And also it's good for holding your iPad, as you will see, um, for your grip. So, very nice design and everything. Also, another thing I like about the 3D is it feels vaguely push plushy. Like, vaguely. And also, if you, like, dent it a little bit, it'll... You can see that in the light, a little dent. And it goes away. Woo! This is actually pretty fun. Wow. I'm having fun. So, yep, that's that's the 3D-ness and the design quality and all that of this case. Now, before we go on to the next section, just very quickly, um, there's a little bit of lifting up over here. I think it kind of just goes away after a while, but it does lift up a bit. Not really a problem because it's very uh, sticky, the uh, part that sticks onto your iPad. is very sticky. Not a problem, but that is something to be aware of. And get this, guys. Not only is it 3D, but it's also sticky, so you get better grip on your device. So let me show you that. So use your device. Now you're holding it. You can hold it with one hand pretty well. And the thing is because it's 3D here, you see this this lip, you see it in the reflection that it kind of like sticks up a bit. You can grab onto that and also stay in your hand very well. Very very well if if yeah, you know, you can hold it a lot easier. And that's not the only kind of stick. There's also another kind of stick. This sticks to really smooth surfaces, and I mean really sticks. I mean, you can't even get this out of the package because it's so sticky. And uh, this is good for sticking to tables. You could, like, you know, put a drink on here, uh, stick to the glass, and have it, like, walking around with it, like, waiter or something. And you could do so much awesome stuff with this. You could stick it outside your car, like... Uh, some kind of advertisement and then let it fall off and you need to buy another iPad for $500. But this is the main way to uh, get your iPad messed up. I mean, use the stickiness to your advantage. So let's see. You can just stick it to something flat, like, say, this um, mirror right here that I'm using. And 
if I go on the other side, you can see there I am. I can put on my makeup, I mean, brush my teeth, and I can also use my iPad. So I'll go, go over here, go over here, um, and, and, you know, check my mail, and, yeah, and use my developer multitasking gestures that you guys should be very jealous of. And so, so very functional. And actually, I I wouldn't recommend this, but it actually works a lot better than I thought. I mean, this this will not fall off, which is pretty crazy. Um, and you know, I I'm pushing here pretty hard. I got a pillow under here, just in, just in case that happens. But yeah, it's it doesn't come off very well. And I'll show you one reason why this case can be very bad from its stickiness. Now we shall take a look at the evils of stickiness. Here is a magazine. Here is the skin. You can see it is kind of sticky to the magazine when I lift up. And that is a problem. If you place this skin on a newspaper or a magazine or a nerdy magazine like this one, then you may get some ink on your skin and this is a problem the paper can even rip off onto your skin let me show you that in close up i i don't feel that this this video can translate the horrors of this but uh i think you can see this kind of gunk over here you can see like that and then that and yeah but but this is a problem because because uh, the ink is coming off of the, the stuff that you're putting this on and, and even all kinds of dirt too. It all sticks very well to this uh, skin. And you can see here, it, it's not very prominent, but it may be a problem. Now, I don't have a problem with it, but uh, it, it is troublesome for some other people and that kind of stuff. And also, like I said, lots of dirt and stuff sticks to it too. So, like, like sweat, like, like so. That's the only problem of stickiness. But other than that, it's it's pretty awesome. So, guys, let's go over the pros and cons. First off, oh, I just hit my monitor with my iPad. First off, uh, first pro is that it's very 3D-ish, feels really, really nice in your hands. Um, the design is really cool. Also, another awesome feature is that it's pretty sticky. It's good grip in your hands, very, very nice and sticky. And also, if you get a dent in it, it just kind of like poofs out, just go poof. Uh, the cutouts are really nice. I like their style, how they left the whole sides open and you don't have to like put all this crap around the the dock and put all this crap up here and like oh send the little lines there because it's all like oh my god it's horrible with some other skins but I really like the style of the skin and how they uh, cut it out I also like the front how it's nicely and nicely cut out and I like the shape of this cutout it's kinda cool uh, they got everything pretty much spot on, which is uh, one reason that I really like it. <laughs> and I just got an email. And plus, you get tons of protection. I mean, this is going to give you tons of shock, shock, shock protection uh, because it's pretty thick and and kind of rubbery-ish, and so it'll protect from scratches and a little bit of shock, except for over here. You don't want to drop it over here. So another thing. Uh, Pro before right before I get to the cons, I just remember these is that you kind of get a lay on the table design because it's so sticky uppy over here, so that's cool. Now for the cons, which I was just about to go over, and then I remembered two more things. Uh, cons mainly are that you can be sometimes too sticky, and then dirt sticks to it, and ink and stuff if you put it on like a magazine or something and you can kind of rub your hand over it and you can feel all the dirt that's been sticking to it which doesn't really feel that nice and also when your hands get kind of sweaty because you're playing that Lego Harry Potter like a badass um, then you know it kind of slippery a little bit and it feel it doesn't feel very nice afterwards um, 
But uh, also another con is that, I don't know where, but on the side somewhere, I found there was like a little particle, not particle, but um, don't know what, I forgot what you call that, but a, le a little kind of piece of hair uh, or something. And it was like somewhere over here and it was stuck in the material and I was like, what? Um, so yeah, another con is that it sticks in the packaging. And when you're trying to open it, when, when you're trying to open the packaging, it like will peel off the piece of paper. Um, and another thing is that it might be kind of hard to uh, peel this off. But that's also a good thing because when you stick it to stuff, then you can get your uh, skin unstuck from the stuff, but your skin will still stick to the iPad. And also another thing is that, like I said before, it looks a little bit low res. And I also found out that, um, like compared to my lock screen, like this red, very vibrant, this red, kind of bland, uh, but still looks really cool. So that's basically my video. I hope you really loved it, and I hope you will continue to love it, and you will love it forever, and you will like subscribe and that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you will enjoy all my videos to come. I just stole that from Mr. Double D50.